Yeah, so Zazie, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And if you haven't been around, then well, shame on you. <laughs> well, don't worry as well, because we've got you covered. We're going to bring you into the world of all things Chinese, and especially now that we're celebrating the Chinese New Year. We've been having so many conversations around it. But now we're going to talk about the incredible part of this world we call food. Now, lucky food is served during the 16-day festival season, and more especially on the New Year's Eve family reunion dinner. Our Dawn Asian restaurant had a dinner of their own this past weekend and served up some amazing dishes that were, well, we're actually going to get a chance to taste right now. So joining us for this cultural journey is the esteemed Jenny Morris, of course, and the talented owner of Dawn Asian restaurant, Ronnie Mao in the building. Ronnie, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. Yeah, yeah it's good it's to have you here. Jenny, always great to have you in the kitchen as well. It's always good <laughs> to be in the kitchen. <laughs> and I see you wearing some of these traditional colors, which we'll talk about in a bit, but let's dive straight into the food. Obviously, you did some incredible things this yeah. weekend. A lot of people were talking about it, and I think that's why Jenny's made sure that we could get you <laughs> in this week and showcase and show off some of this incredible dishes. Uh, let's start with the, the, the first one. I see we've got an incredible, what I believe is a lotus root, root salad. salad. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is from the lotus flower. Right? Uh, yes, from the roots of the lotus flower. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. So talk me through the significance of this. Why use ingredients like this? Does it have any meaning behind it? So this lotus salad is actually one of the most traditional vegetables in China. We use the, in many different processes of cooking. Okay. We make soup out of it, make salad out of it, we deep fry it, everything. Yeah. What? So and, it carries... and us Westerners had no idea you could even consume <laughs> it, never mind that it's considered a vegetable. But I see Jenny's already tucking into that one. It's mixed and made with what looks like... Is a that wood ear salad. Okay. It's a wood ear, yeah. Wood it's ear salad, wow. Yeah, it's yeah. like yeah, mushroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's yes. quite exotic, right? Is that from South Africa, no? Uh, no, no, it's imported. Oh, of yes. course. <laughs> you can buy it in Chinese supermarkets here, though. Oh, wow, oh, okay. Oh, my country yeah. is so full of that stuff, baby. All right, but this was obviously the first dish, and this is obviously what got everybody realizing yeah. that this is something authentic already. We haven't even gotten into the mains, but the significance I see is obviously being ticked when it comes to that box. Can I try this out? Is it, uh, yeah, what, sure. what do you expect when it comes to the taste of this? What am I looking for? Is so it starchy? The, the, the lotus itself, it get a little bit like crispy, yeah. but mm. also like a refreshing taste. Okay, oh, wow. Well. With the uh, wood ear, which gives like a little bit tender inside. So you're giving a lot of mixture of feelings when you're taking and the salad. Lots of different effect. textures as yeah. well. So Ronnie, maybe just to make sure, I know that a lot of us aren't very um, educated when it comes to using these incredible yeah. devices. <laughs> uh, what's, your, what's your sort of uh, tips on, on using chopsticks? So you put your middle finger in between oh. and you only move the top one. Like this. Oh, and the bottom one actually stays there. Stays oh, as a okay. Table. Table. So this is the most easy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna just tuck in this because I can't not take up. Oh, pass, pass. Like, can I go. give you? A, a, you can't yes, dip twice. So put it on the plate. If put it on the plate. If you're gonna dip twice, turn it upside down. Okay. All right, so let me Thank just you, grab Ronnie, a little bit fine. of a uh, little bit Lotus of that, and root. then some of that mushroom there. It is divine. Yeah. Okay, Good. He's leaving the rest for me. You know. Yeah, it's Jenny's favorite. Ooh. It's kind of got like a kimchi vibe, almost, but... It's the chili you picked It's the chili. Oh, that's oh yes, that's the chili. It. Okay, it is hot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just tangy, but there's definitely chili in that. I love the texture, man. It's got yeah. like a... A sort of a, not starchy, not like a carrot, not like an apple, but if I was to mix it all together... Rubbery, crunchy. Mm, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love this, and the way you balance that... Oh, Stunning. well played. This is good. <laughs> it's biting, it's inviting, and it's yeah. warming all at the same time. I absolutely yeah, love that. Like, okay, yeah. let's carry on with this. Mm. Right, so what are we talking about here? Because we've just obviously discussed the salad that we just had now, the lotus yeah. salad, which was from the root. And now it seems like we're moving over to what looks like main food. Yeah, yeah so, so... What exactly is going on here? So we have a Peking duck, which is one of the most significant dishes in China. And we have the short ribs, which is currently quite trendy in mm -hmm. China, and crispy pork belly, which is very traditional dish of Chinese. And yeah. Excuse my ignorance, because I see there's a lot of sort of praise when it comes to uh, celebrating animals in this tradition. I mean, if you look up the calendar and the zodiac calendar, yeah, yeah, you have monkey, dragon, ox, all these different things. What does it mean when it comes to celebrating these sort of animals and these mystical creatures, but then also eating them at the same time. Is it as sort of worshipped? Is it as cherished as uh, the creatures as well? Do we also like maintain the sort of value on them and prioritize it as well? 
because they are very important to mm. our daily life. Like we, like cow, you know, they're not just our, we not only like the main source of the food, but also it helps us to do the farming. And also we have pig. Also, it's very important source of food. While we 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 we, we use them for meat, but also we pay a lot of respect yes. because they actually, you know, helping us to stay house and providing the food for us. And how important yeah. they actually are in our daily lives <laughs> as well. I love the yeah. fact that you the, are. The one thing I've noticed with Chinese cuisine is the, the respect is eat from nose. Snout mm. to tail, mm. so mm. nothing gets nothing and gets, gets waste. Yeah, and I believe this is why many Chinese people live for so long. I mean, they're very close to like a blue zone because they're eating things like you said from nose to toe. Mm -hmm. So that's organs. Those are like really healthy, sort Every of valuable yeah, so. items. It's not just the flesh that Westerners are used to. It's around protein. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? So Touch your mother's touched it with her hands. I'm giving you lucky, lucky. <laughs> well, so I'll bring it on. I'm here for that. Yeah. Do you taste that sauce on the duck? It's a beautiful hoisin. So what's his yeah. It's his special. Oh, wow. It's his signature. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out, is it sweet? Is it sour? No, it's like perfectly in the middle. This is a... What have you used for the sauce? Is it a fruit? Is it a puree? It's a no, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the common sauce we call hoisin sauce, which oh. is like a seafood sauce. Yeah. Okay, wow. It complements it absolutely perfectly. So that was the... The, the, the pecking duck. Pecking duck, right? And the next, <coughs> is, we uh, is dark one. We use, uh, we use the duck that imported from China. So at the right age and also the right maturity, so you can taste that the meat is quite tender and also the skin is quite thick. Mm. You know, when it comes to pecking duck, it's all about the skin. Yeah, okay. crispy skin. Yeah. And it's full bodied. It's like a proper bite. And yeah. I can tell you something. They can get about a good chef will get about two hundred slices with skin of a duck. And these ducks have spring water, let me tell you. What? Yeah. They drink spring Jeez. water. Yeah, this is not duck and, and, they, and they all have a little little stamp. What do you call that thing? A tag. Authenticity at its very finest. Authentic. Wow. Very, well, the, very the authentic. restaurant must have been going crazy with all these sensations, <laughs> all these flavors and textures. I can see why it's caused such a stir. Listen, we're almost uh, not even going to get through this, but we've just done the duck. What is next on this list? Because I see there's three options so, when it comes yeah, to This menu. one is what we call the short ribs, and it's quite trendy in China. So we, in China, we, what we you eat differently to the Western style is that we always properly cook the meat. Then, um, in order to make the meat very tender, so we marinate the meat with the all different type of fruits together, and then we, we cook them into close to well done. But the meat itself is still staying tender, like a medium rare type of. But it's not just extra. the flavor of the meat now, it's also, everything else that you've yeah, marinated, it's absolutely yeah. all Also, that we, magic. we're mixing with uh, three different types of chili with the dry chilies and also pickled chilies and also the fresh chilies. So such when, one. Yeah, <laughs> but when you have it, you will feel like there's a, like yeah. a really rich type of hot and chili feeling. Do you guys like uh, cooking with spice in, in China? Is that a, quite a common thing? Yeah, it's a very common thing and it's quite popular. Can have I? that one, have that have one. one okay. And I? while you're munching that, I want to tell you about that chili. This okay. is a secret that they will not share. Ooh. The chef keeps it to himself. That chili is yeah. addictive. Listen, man, the way you work in the skin, <laughs> the rind, the fat, the texture of the meat, the softness, the tenderness is like... I feel like you cook this over days. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, I don't even need to chew this. It is absolutely delicious. Wow. I'm trying to not finish everything here so I don't ruin my appetite because I know there's a lot more to come, but... Yeah. Wow. Absolutely loving this. Again, I want to... Maybe ask you in the, in the meantime, we've asked so many questions on how to say hello. How do you say Happy New Year in China? Um, so Chinese. we say... Xin Nian Kuai Le. Xin Nian Kuai? Le. Xin Nian Kuai Le. Yeah, you let's do it, it again. So, Xin Nian Kuai Le. Xin Nian Kuai Le. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, I hope I'm not <laughs> offending anybody when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get a Chinese daughter in law, and she sent it to me on a voice note. Xin Nian Kuai Le. Kuai Le. Yeah. Yeah. That's it done. Authenticity as fun as this, and there's so much great food here. One more thing I see. Jenny's got two envelopes here. We spoke about this earlier. Is there any significance on. Are, are these yours? But I'll share one. <laughs> okay. All right. Is this, this is obviously the audience we were speaking about for the good luck and yes. there were some yeah. positive sentiments yes. in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and, and this, we, the significance behind this is a, a, quite a rich tradition in these yeah. sort of handing over of, of these cards, right? Yes, yes. So the red envelopes is generally we uh, do give to each other during the New Year's time and also um, generally coming from the older to the younger people. Mm. 
And the red color itself carries a very strong meaning of Chinese culture. We think in red represents lucky and healthy and prosperity. Oh, so, wow. yeah. So, Jenny, this was something that you actually got given to yourself in. When I was in China, I was doing the little kowtow thing because I think I was one of the oldest there, but I wanted to be with the kids. And I got like a really. I had $50 in mind. So, did you. Remember That's there was, mine. Was, <laughs> you you <laughs> left somebody. You this one. I guess yeah. this is my year. This is the year. Yeah. <laughs> luck for sure. But like I said, Tony, thank you so much for coming through. Uh, no again, if you guys want to get your taste on some of this incredible, authentic Chinese experience, and especially now that we are celebrating the new year, then I would definitely say go reach out to him. You can find him at Dawn Restaurant. They're doing incredible things, as you can clearly see. Yeah. And Tony's at the head of it all, so you are definitely in the right hand. So once again, I want to wish you a happy... Uh, New Year, and officially, how do we say it again? You say it. You uh, say, I, 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 no, no. say it together. Okay, let's try. Xin Nian Kuai Le. Kuai Le. I hope I did that well. Ni hao and... Zai jian. Xie xie. Thank you, Tony. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. This was delicious, man. Well done.